Hey, 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 Pisces. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekly reading. So Pisces, this is going to be a reading for you. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Write down below there, Pisces, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com. That's where you can find a reading. And please note <clears throat> that I have done over 660 readings on Etsy. So if it doesn't say that, then you're not in the right place. And also note that you will see my face and I do not do phone readings, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on for your overall energy, Pisces, for the week. Ooh, I just had two cards come out, so I'll put them over here. You have the King of Swords, you have the Star, the Prince of Cups, and the Queen, uh, sorry, the Princess of Cups. <clears throat> okay, right off the bat, I'm getting balance, Pisces. Especially the King of Swords usually is a Libra for me. The star balance. Masculine, feminine of the heart chakra. So I feel like this is intentional. You may have felt yourself off balance lately and you're intentionally making decisions going through throughout the day day to day to day making decisions really trying to balance that masculine and feminine energy within you so let's see what else we have for this okay what came out Pisces is the heart of wands and the movement of cups here all right you're trying to go towards something, towards a passion. And it, it's like, <clears throat> you. this could be a person too, but you want it so badly that you want to make it work. So you want to make sure that you're balanced, you move forward, you're balanced, you move forward in the heart chakra because you don't want anything to fuck it up, really. That's, that's what I want to say to you. So let's see what the Princess of Cups is. The Ten of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Spirit of Cups. Yeah, see, you don't want to end up stuck. And I feel like from your experience, if you're off balance, you feel stuck. And this is why you're trying to keep your heart chakra open. You want emotional fulfillment. You want to get excited about whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Now, this could be love as well. The Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment here, right? So what is this King of Swords? Who is this? Earth Mother. Innocence of Pentacles and the Strength card. Okay. All right, so there could be a person coming towards you okay it could be a libra and i say that because the king of swords is here and the earth mother it could be a taurus or leo but i feel like you're looking at this decision right regarding this person and you're needing courage you're needing strength here or at least you feel you do and there's that balance. You see the infinity sign above the lion here, right? There is that balance that you're seeking. Tell me about the Prince of Cups. Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is that opportunity I feel that you're taking, right? Or you're seeking an opportunity to go after something as far as work is concerned building something and you don't want you don't want to lose anything i'm getting that with the five of pentacles so you're very cautious about maintaining balance maintaining confidence in whatever this is 
there's that balance again. So you have temperance, the three of wands, and the tower. What's the tower? Ooh, the devil. The two of cups. <laughs> All right, so you've got some unexpected love coming. And this may be why you're seeking this balance as well. Maybe you've got love that all of a sudden just shows up, right? This person over here. You're not sure how to maintain your balance because you were focused in one area, right? Like you're focused in work. You're going this direction. And then all of a sudden from an opposite direction comes love. But it is being guided. So you do have angelic presence. You do have angelic light, I want to say. And guidance. So call on your angels okay okay all right so let's look at your challenge okay so your challenge pisces is the high priestess the prince of pentacles the magician oh sorry the magician and the five of wands this is interesting because this has a Virgo challenge vibe to it. I had done Virgo earlier. And it essentially is listening to your intuition, right? It's like, I feel like there's, there's going to be a tug of war going on within you. About what to do. I feel it's like, it's like love and work or just life in general, but you're trying to maintain this balance and walk forward and maintain this balance and walk forward okay so let's clarify let's clarify the let's see if that comes out again that was the six of um cups there so the magician now this this talks about manifesting I'm hearing glowing, like this glow around the magician is standing out. And I feel like whenever you listen to your intuition, you're glowing. See the glow around the high priestess? That's what I'm feeling. All right, tell me about the magician. We have the four of swords the Ten of Wands, <clears throat> and the Five of Wands once again. So overcoming, okay, what feels heavy to you and healing what you need to heal in order to move forward and manifest what you want. And this is your challenge. Tell me about the High Priestess. So we have the Hanged Man, the innocence of wands and the universe. And it's funny, I don't know why I want to mention this to you, but the bee is standing out. Okay, I had a bee in my house today. Um, and it is actually about abundance, bees. So I, I feel like by not listening to your intuition, you may be blocking abundance from getting to you. So really trust your instinct, really trust what you're hearing from the universe. Clarifying the five of wands is the seven of cups, the 10 of pentacles and the seven of <clears throat> wands. There is definitely a connection to spirit here with these sevens. See, you confuse yourself, right? It's like you want this abundance, you want to be committed in a relationship, but then you're standoffish to the information that's coming to you. It's like you see what you see, you feel like you see things clearly, but then your head gets fogged because of, I feel like all these cups are information and you're not, you're not trusting all of the information that's coming to your heart. Tell me about the Prince of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. See, so we have this balance again, right? Juggling love, juggling life, really going towards your passion. But 
taking your time. Now, it's going to be a challenge for you to drop your guard in order to let this abundance in, this new beginning with the universe. All right, so your outcome, Pisces, is the Seven of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Strength card, and the Six of Pentacles. So here we have the Six of Pentacles again. Hmm. Why are you still, it's like you're needing strength in order to choose you, like your intuition, in order to trust your instincts, in order to trust your next steps moving forward. You already have it within you and you already know. And it's a matter of you stepping into this knowing. So you have the Spirit of Swords, the Heart of Cups, and the Heart of Pentacles here, okay? Yeah, see, this is knowing your heart. This is knowing what you want to offer. This is really looking within your heart. You see how the panther is peeking out, right? Now, you know, whenever I see the panther, it's like seeing within the darkness, finding the light within the darkness. And this is what you need to see within you. You need to trust that light, that information that's in your heart. All right, so clarifying the Seven of Cups, you have the Ace of Swords, the Justice card, and the Two of Wands. So you will seek the truth. You will find the truth. You will find clarity. I'm getting growth. It's like uh, growth spurts. So with this balance, you're trying to balance, right? The masculine, the feminine, the love, the, uh, the work or life or whatever. I feel like you do this, you move forward, and then there's a growth spur. And then you do this, you move forward, and then there's a growth spur. And this is the clarity that you will finally come to because you're going to walk away from any confusion that existed when you didn't trust your intuition. Clarifying the strength card is the innocence of cups, the sun, and the four of wands. So knowing your happiness not being afraid to step into your happiness, right? Finding that stability and really committing to what it is that you love, what it is that you wish for. Because look at this. You have the star, the moon, and the high priestess clarifying the three of wands. So it's like what you we're waiting for was hidden from you but now it's not hidden anymore and it was it, and it was never hidden but you questioned it so with the high priestess here and the star the star showing up again it's talking about that knowing right within you and not questioning the knowing trusting that intuition healing whatever is stopping that that knowing because there is something that's there that is causing that block, that is causing you to question you. And this is what you have to come to terms with. This is what you have to shine a light upon. And that's this guy here, the Spirit of Swords, okay? Um, call upon the Panther during meditation. I feel like that is going to help you. A heart meditation, that's what I'm feeling. Wow. Okay, so who is this? I want to say, Pisces, who is this person? All right. Who is this person? Spirit of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Hmm. This could be somebody younger than you. It could be um, somebody with Capricorn in their chart. Possibly uh, somebody who's really transformed and is healing. It is a soulmate. 
Wow. The magician, <clears throat> sky father, could be an Aries or a Taurus. Now, you have the empress over here. So it's definitely, and that's that high priestess knowing. It's like this knowing of this love, I feel like existed, but I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what it is you're questioning. Are you questioning your life? Are you questioning this person? Um, well, not this person, this love. What are you questioning? Yeah, okay, celebrating joy you're questioning oh that's why because people around you this is why the high priestess is here the high priestess is saying don't tell people what it is that you want to manifest because they're only going to try to talk you out of it so take a leap of faith and that's what spirit's saying take the leap of faith pisces so let's see what the angels of atlantis have to say for you for advice i'm just going to pull one metatron mercy Mercy. So let's see. Let's see what this is. Metatron. The Oracle of Metatron beseeches you to explore ways of being merciful within yourself and in relation to fellow human beings and nature. Mercy is God given and therefore channeled through the sovereign leader. It is then allowed to flourish through the garden of the meek. Therefore, if you harbor any negative issues such as anger, let go and live the life of your full power, your sovereignty, and express the in implicit power of compassion. Be silent as you meditate on the oracle and Metatron will bring you inspiration. So, I feel like th that that's talking about peace, finding that peace within you, finding your nature, because it, it's talking about um, nature. So I feel like that has to do with your human nature, your nature, your nature to balance, your nature to love, your nature, your nature to be compassionate, um, finding all of those qualities within you and trusting trusting them, trusting them, trusting in their power for you, okay, to move forward, to utilize those uh, gifts and what exists naturally within your heart space to move forward, okay? So Pisces, that's what I have for you. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, please go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com and make sure that when you go there that you look at how many readings are done. There are scammers out there, so I want to make sure you go into the right place. I've done over 660 readings, I think, right now, so make sure that that's what it says and you'll be in the right place. So you have yourself a fabulous day or fabulous week, and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of tarot. Namaste.